Hey guys, welcome back to another interview. I've got April here. Say hi to everyone. Hi everyone. Hey. Who is April? What a wonderful question. Yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, we'll start off with I study music and sound design, um, double degree with international studies at UTS. Oh yeah. Yeah, a bit of a flex. That's a flex. My interest, I mean, love a good, love a good chat. Yeah. Here for the chats with Lockie. Um, just, you know, hanging out with friends, you know, I'm one of those extrovert people that just loves to be surrounded by people all the time. Um, love my doggy. Shout out to Benji. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm quite family oriented. I like to be close with my parents and just share whatever's going on in my world with them. Um, what yeah. else? Yeah, I mean, music's kind of my life yeah. at the moment and like studying and just doing all that kind of stuff. So. Um, so uni's great. My job is safe. You're telling me about this year that you had last year, yeah, 2019, and it was kind of like rough, kind of rough, pretty yeah. chaotic. Like all of it just like really overwhelmed me, and it came over like quite quickly. So it was kind of hard to say like, okay, well, when did it start? Basically, at the beginning of 2019. Actually, you know what? It was the end of 2018. Yeah. And I crashed my car for the first time, which was quite upsetting, but like, yeah. you know, first car crash, my parents were really forgiving. Um, I've got insurance, I had the money to pay for it, so like that was okay. Yeah. Not even a month later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> seriously. Yes. Yeah. Um, I crashed my car again, but the, like just like me and Lockie were talking about it before, like the embarrassment of it being mm. like <laughs> such a mistake, especially in such a short time frame. So I knew that I hit this guy, a car, not an actual person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just <the> same one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't kill someone, but like I hit another person's car. Mm. And so because I was just so embarrassed and like scared of what my parents were gonna say, just cause you know, tough Aussie parents like, you get yelled at. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I kind of swept that under the rug in 2019 Australia Right, and that's the start of the year. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, plus that day, I just wanted to like, you know how it is. Like, <laughs> just, like, just, just want to hang on the friends, like, yeah, you know, yeah. a bit of a piss off. Yeah. 2019, I was accepted to do biomedical engineering at UTS. It sounds fancy. It was yeah. just like, <laughs> You know, it was funner to explain, it was more fun to explain to people like what I was doing or like it was more like, like I felt um, like verified, like the... Like because it was like a high charting. Yeah, like charting yeah, like I just, degree. I didn't really have any desire to try either because I just was not passionate about it either. Got to the point where I was broke because I'd already had to pay for two car crashes. Um, I was going out every weekend with my friends and going to city, going into the city and like, oh, let's just go get an Uber home. So like $30 later for an Uber, like, you know, and just like constantly just throwing my money at a wall mm. and like all shits and gigs to go out with your friends, like yeah. constantly. But like there comes a point where it's just so, um, it's yeah. taxing, it's, yeah. it's a yeah. lot of money yeah. to yeah. go out every weekend and just kind of like get yeah. away from all the problems. Yeah, and exactly. Just it was definitely yeah, an escapism it. thing. So I had no money, definitely my fault. It would always be brought into the argument, well, don't go fucking crashing your car yeah. again. And you don't, yeah. And when that, you're already really up. struggling with something, it becomes like one of those things where it's like such a sore spot. Mm. But, your nickname is Titanium because you were very strong as a kid. We've all been there in terms of just like the dating scene. Mm. Like a few okay. people where you'd get excited about it and you'd be in like the talking phase mm. and you'd tell your parents about oh sorry, you'd tell your friends about it. It like might even tell your mum about it just on the down low, like, yeah, mm. not like nothing serious, but like just like talking to this person, like you know how it is. Yeah. And you're excited about it. Yeah, yeah. and like I had a few of those where it just flopped. Mm. Like can't really explain why it didn't work, just didn't. So that kind of hurt too. I took my dad's car one day because I crashed mine and I didn't have it anymore. <laughs> I put a whole tank of diesel in my dad's Kluger. <laughs> that tank's petrol. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So that was another thing where I just was so embarrassed because it was something to do with a car again and yes. it was more money that I just didn't have everything in my life. Just there was something a little bit wrong with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and that's just like a hard thing to realize. And even looking back at it now, I'm just like, I, like I wish I could talk to myself then and just be like yeah. a friend to myself because I just really needed that. Somebody who I kind of understood. Yeah, but things. basically like it just got to a point where I'd wake up in the morning and I'd get out of bed just to say bye to my mum and dad. And then I'd go back to bed, skip whatever uni class I had that day. It was a lecture, I just mm -hmm. wouldn't go to it. Like I just stopped like functioning in that sense like uni's wrong you don't like uni like what are we going to do about that mm. so we made a uac application and filed for a new uni course which is why i'm in music now and yes. it's awesome and i love it yeah we sat down and said okay your funds aren't adding up and you're just talking about how you want to travel and you want to see the world but you're not saving so why don't you transfer like 400 dollars of your pay every week to me so that not only if you crash your car again, you have money to pay for it, mm. but you are saving for a trip as well. Yeah. And also my parents made this rule that if I didn't have $2,400 in my account, I couldn't drive the car. Right. Because that's how much excess costs. Right, okay. <laughs> that's actually kind of smart. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is. Like, yeah. It, it was harsh because I couldn't drive the car for a while. I was tricking myself into thinking that engineering is my purpose. Yeah. And like I really, really had myself fooled into this like idea that I was going to be a woman in STEM and doing all these engineering things like, and like, like I was still putting on a face of like look at me out with my friend, mm. look at this new bar we went to, like I was still putting out that um, that image, yeah. kind of compensating. And, and I mean going out with my friends, that was like a happy place for me. Yeah. So it's not like I was putting out a false sense of who I am, like no one's going to put up a Facebook stuff lying in my bed for seven days like <laughs> yeah. no. <laughs> because I see I see April and I see myself and kind of what she went through that year was very similar to what I went through over a couple of years like I had three incidents where I had like a car crash or like an incident and had to pay you too know much. too much like I had a I remember it was like a ten thousand dollar debt, and I was like, like yeah, I was, <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, Were you not insured? Seventeen, eighteen, it's like, no, we weren't insured because it was like an old car and it wasn't. We didn't really care. Oh, honey. And so, yeah, at that, I think, you know, and, and additionally with that, you know, having failed like relationships and stuff like that, all these different things are all applicable to. To, to everyone, the struggle was trying to see the end of end of the darkness, or seeing yeah. light at the end of the path, for sure. which is or which even is realizing that you were in like a dark spot. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it's only just been the past couple of months, or it's only just been that year. Yeah. And you know, I think I could have, and I think you could have um, let that control you and let that affect the rest of your life. Mm. But I think it's actually a good. Thing to have those years or you had that year oh, to look sure. back and be like okay I matured so much yeah and that's that's been integral to me growing up as a human and it also like made like having all those really really dark spots it's made like this year like like living all the um, successes that I've had this year it's just made them so much more like wholesome yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> You appreciate them more. Don't come for yeah. me, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it just makes them so much more meaningful. Yeah, of course. And yeah. yeah, I mean, like I've had struggles this year as well. Like it's been one of the best years of my life, but there's still been hardships that I've had to, um, like adversity I've had to deal with. Hmm. Yeah, but I've never been one to really like show that I'm upset. When you spring up a car crash that I've had and a fight that we've had, that really affects me and that mm. really like brings me down a peg in terms yeah. of like my um, like self-worth and like all these things that I need to feel better about myself. Like that just really hurt. Well, it was really important for me to surround myself around those people that I had like a deeper connection with. Even though life's great at the moment, like I'm really happy with where it's going and like how I'm finally saving money and stuff. 
did recently go through a breakup which is always hard and it was just one of those things where it had to come to an end but it's just kind of hard to make that realization yourself yeah i noticed myself falling into these habits again and i think my resilience has really um gained in strength from last year yeah so i was able to really really quickly nip it in the bud and be like okay this is bad you are okay you talked myself out of falling into those habits again which i think was the best realization for me because i knew how much stronger i'd become from all the hardships i faced last year yeah and how I'd really um, come a long way from that because I was able to bring myself out of another situation more recently where I could have fallen back into that trap again. Yeah, but and it's good to have, I think it's better to have these when you're younger and... Worst advice that I've probably ever heard was to just like distract myself from what I was feeling. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I wasn't allowing myself to feel the enormity of how serious it really was that I wasn't succeeding in yeah. so many endeavors of life. So watching Shameless as a bit of a coping mechanism, not the best thing. Cause I think I just reassure myself that like mm. it's a phase, do something about it. Like, yeah. and I've been really into my podcasts lately mm. and some like, I don't know, happy hour with Lucy and Nikki. It's not educational at all, but it's just like fun to listen to in the yeah. car. And basically they gave advice saying, if something's bugging you for over a month, just do something. Like if you're thinking about going away on a trip. I mean, nothing will change unless, like they heard that old saying, nothing will change unless you change. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming on. No April, appreciate it. Um, hope you guys found something good from this. And yeah. Hit the like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly by it. No, yeah, not really. exactly. Have a good one. Bye.